I'm going to quickly show you how fast it is to create an email inside BeFree and then import it into MailChimp. Uh, you might want to do this if you are trying to build an email inside the MailChimp builder and for some reason it doesn't allow something like maybe you want to add more columns across or you want a row of five social icons or you want to change your social icons. Um, those are things you can't do in MailChimp, but you can do in Be Free. And you can also do things like this in another platform called Stripo. I just use Be Free because I like their UI better. Um, but e either one does the same thing. So we're going to go over to Be Free. And you can do this with a free account. They have a paid account. I'm not 100% sure what you get with the paid account. Um, I have a paid account. So just heads up, I might have some features that you don't have in the free account. So I'm just going to go to create a new template. I'm going to create an email. And they have like a lot of pre-built, like all of these are pre-built templates. Um, just like be aware, like say we, let's use this one because I like it. Not everything will be editable in here. And you'll see when this loads up that like the header image, that's like a graphic that was designed. Um, so you would have to edit that. This is an image, um, but like everything else is text. So say you, you just replaced your logo, you would just change the image here, change the text. All the settings are here. Like this is an H1, this is the font, font sizes. Um, you really have control over everything, like how much line height left, how it's gonna be aligned, letter spacing, here. And then there's a ton of padding options, which MailChimp actually added a lot more padding options into their new builder. Um, but this has even more like, you just really have control over the padding, you can hide blocks, like say, you wanted a different block for mobile, you could come down here, and you could hide it on mobile. And then you could duplicate this. And you could create like, a different image that will only show on mobile. So now I would hide this one on desktop. So when I click over here, this is hidden and this will, that's why it's like blurry and this will appear. So you, I mean, you just have like unlimited options. There, there have there hasn't really been anything that I couldn't do in be free that a client asked for. Um, okay. So I'm not gonna go over the whole template builder. I'm just gonna show you how you would import this. Let me just delete this row. It's also really easy, just one more thing, is to like, you have these sections that you can move all around your artboard. Um, anyhow, it's just like very easy and I love it. So once you're done, you're just gonna go to export. You're gonna copy the HTML. Um, one note on this, which I'm going to put it in the notes, you, when you copy the HTML, all of your images have been uploaded to BeFree. So if you don't want them hosted at BeFree, which if you get a lot of traffic on your images, for some reason, they may, might make you pay, you'll just want to upload your images to MailChimp first, and then click on your image and paste in the MailChimp image link here. That way you're hosting it on MailChimp or if you have your own server or something. Okay, so we're gonna go to export, copy the HTML. You're just gonna copy all of this or you can click this, I guess. And then go over to MailChimp. Go to templates. You're gonna create a new template. And then you're gonna click over here to code your own and you're gonna paste your code in. So new template. And so over here, this is where you're gonna paste all your code in. And then it'll take a second to, to load, but there's your email. So now what you would have to do is say you wanted to adjust like this text, you could go over here and you could like find the text in here. But what what you really want to do? And look, it's not even it's not even showing it to me in here. Um, is go back to be free, make your edits, 
and cut and paste your code in again. And then it'll always be updated. But it's also just really nice to have a place um, where you're backing up your emails too. So in Be Free, you're kind of backing them up. And then in MailChimp, you're just sending them. So MailChimp is no longer your editor. In this case, Be Free is the editor, and then you're just sending um, the email through MailChimp.